Welcome back to Coding Gameology. Today we're going to actually code the game Monkey Catcher. Let me show you what it's all about. Click the banana to throw it. You can get three different types of scores. Nice, great, and excellent. It looks like I got excellent that time. I got nice. I think I'm going to get excellent again. Finally, I get a great. Okay, let's go make this game. Okay, now let's get started with the code. We definitely need to start with the backdrop. Here, all you need to do is input whatever backdrop you want. Then, we need to create the monkey sprite with all of its costumes. And then, the monkey's code is simple. For Everly, it's going to switch the costume to random 1 to 5 wait 0.5 seconds which looks like this this is just to add a bit of movement to the monkey now let's create this right banana inner ring and outer ring outer ring doesn't have code so now we're going to be coding banana and inner ring how do you code banana well first of all we have to make it play the music you can do whatever music you like. Then we're going to make the variable pause ring. It's going to be very important for this variable. Now at the beginning we have to set it to movement. Because the ring will not move, become smaller if the pause ring variable is pause. Now the banana is going to this position which is directly under the monkey's feet. Then forever if it's touching the mouse pointer or mouse down which means the mouse is currently gripping it, then it's gonna set the pause ring to pause, glide to the middle, which allows you to see your score, and it goes back. And now, it's the same code from over here, but instead of doing pause ring, we're forever really, we're repeating 30 times spinning, and then it's gonna point in direction 90. So it's just like this, so that we have a little animation for when we go into that ring. Alright, now we're done with banana. Let's do inner ring. Inner ring is one of the most important things because it actually defines your scores while also becoming smaller over and over again. So at the beginning, we're going to set our size to 100. Then forever, we're going to repeat 25 times, change the size by negative 4. If the pause ring is equal to pause, then we're going to wait 1.99 seconds. If, this, if size is smaller than 66 and not size smaller than 33, then broadcast rate. If size is smaller than 33, broadcast excellent. If 66 is smaller than size and not six, not size smaller than 66, then broadcast nice. Then we're gonna set the pause ring to movement. At the very bottom, set size to 100. Outer ring does not need any code. Words. When starts gonna hide. When it receives nice it's and great and excellent, they're all going to show, but they're going to switch to different costumes. Number one, nice. Number two, great. Number three, excellent. Now, depending on these messages, that's the costume that they will switch to. They're all going to wait one second and hide. Now we're out to the four clouds. These four clouds. These four, they don't, these two don't need any code. These, this one, this one moves, so we have to do forever, move 10 steps, wait 0 0.2 seconds, move 9 to 10 steps, wait 0 0.2 seconds, and go back. And we're just going to copy and paste this code over to here. But we're going to switch to go to. Then we're going to do forever in this classroom, wait 0 0.2 seconds. Hey, we're done. Now let's go test this game out again.
Looks like it's working. Alright, and also, by now, you should have guessed my inspiration for this game. And if you haven't, the answer is... Thank you for watching, and please like, share, and subscribe.